But Francois, this question is for you. Um, if you're only going to use paperless information to the shop, right, which we, we understand your workflow, how, do you, how are you guys managing the QA side of things? Good question. Because, um, I mean, we have the CNC that they don't need the paper. Uh, the only person that needs paper is the QA QC. Um, and that was the biggest hurdle to, to, uh, to go over. But there were several ways of, of going about this. Uh, typically, uh, the guy in the shop, they will, they will check everything on the parts. But because it's coming from a 3D model and it's programmed directly from the 3D model, the chances of missing operation on the part is dramatically decreasing. Um, and that's a risk that you're willing to take when you go that way. Um, so we, um, the, what happens when the part typically is wrong is that uh, the operator is not pushing the parts far enough on the stop or uh, a tool broke during the cycle or the operator put it uh, the wrong side uh, or, or similar things like that. So within five minutes, just looking at the 3D model and the QAQC personnel looking with the laptop and measure few keyholes, they will be able to know if the part is good or not. So if you have 50 different holes, they're not going to check 50 holes. Um, so that's been a big change in our, in our process that they're only looking at key elements now on the extrusions. Uh, but uh, to answer in short your question, they're using a laptop with the model loaded on the laptop. 